You are rightly stated that the principle of this bill has been unanimously accepted by the house and most of the relevant points have been made out and that no time of the house should be taken by repeating the same points again and again one of the points on which i want to lay stress and which is being disputed again and again by the treasury benches is the question of cottage industries so you pointed out to them yesterday that there is provision in this bill to take into consideration the cottage industry also and the honorable the deputy minister realized it again there was a point raised by mr sidwa today and the honorable speaker who was in the chair at the time said that the scope of the bill is confined only to the consideration of protection to industries as against foreign industries to give protection to the indigenous industries as against imported goods and the question of cottage industries does not come in here the honorable deputy minister titoid this unless protection is given to indigenous industries we shall not be able to develop industrially i wholeheartedly support this proposition i am not against it when i speak to cottage industry i do not for a moment think that our country should not be developed on the same lines as the other countries in the world i want that every villagers should have the same amenities that we are sitting in this house have every villagers should have these furnitures fittings houses and so on the only thing is that the existing economy should not be disturbed and sacrificed before substitute arrangement is made before we give protection to any bigger industries the first thing we should consider is that the materials which are at present being produced in our villages to meet the requirements of the villages and on which the economic life of the villagers rest are properly safeguarded we should see that we have sufficient quantity of consumer goods to meet the necessities of all people in the country and nothing is done merely in the interest of 10% of the people at the sacrifice of existing village economy before making sure of some better substitute i find that at the present moment our attention is confined to the amenities and requirements of a portion of the population only the other day my honorable friend mr krishnamachari whom i regard 
as a great economist and who knows finance etc and looks to the interest of the country and gives very good advice said that we do not want to go to medieval age and the luxury of yesterday is the necessity of today and that few articles which we import today from many foreign countries and the few industries which we are starting for recreation and amenities of the people should not be grudged i agree with him i do not grudge them but looking to the condition as it is today and the circumstances under which we are placed and over which we have no control if we want to develop our country on the same basis as other countries have done industrially and otherwise we do not have at our command all the necessary materials and we simply cannot do it with the speed we want we have to depend upon others so at least during the transitional period it may be that the necessities of yesterday may have to be regarded as the luxuries of today and for some time have to take the austerity to be squarely distributed i welcomed this bill most heartily when i went through it but when the deputy minister was speaking he probably overlooked or gave scant attention to one point i am referring to clause 12 in regard to the reference to the commission on matters arising out of protection of the things mentioned there are different sectors of the country's economy on which the commission may inquire and report whenever we start new industries and give protection to them this clause is always neglected it should not be merely that the central government may also refer but they must refer to this as one of the conditions under clause 14 when the fiscal commission recommends that this tariff commission should take so many points into consideration the different sectors of the country's economy must be one of the points that must be taken into consideration the other day there was a question about the acquisition of the visakhapatnam shipping yard when we had to pay rupees 2 to 3 crores for acquiring it one of the points we look into consideration was the unemployment of 4000 workers and for keeping them in employment we suffered a loss in view of the agitation that was carried on we sacrifice the existing necessary supply of the villagers and through them out of employment without making any arrangement for their substitute requirements and without providing them with alternative employment 